Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from Philippians chapter four, verses six and seven. They read as follows. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I recently spoke with a friend who just seemed to have a lot going on. They had a lot on their plate and it just seemed like they had to do X, Y, and Z at this particular time. They were running here, they were running there, and they confided that they just felt overwhelmed, like they couldn't do it all, that they couldn't accomplish everything that needed to be accomplished, that they just felt like giving up. But even if they wanted to give up, they didn't exactly know how to even do that. I said a very quick silent prayer asking God to give me the words to say at the very same hour to give me some words to encourage them. And God reminded me of the times when I too was just in a, when I was just in a situation where things were overwhelming, where there was just a lot going on, where I too felt like I wanted to give up. When I've been in situations where yes, I had felt overwhelmed. I felt like everything was just too much. I felt like I just kind of wanted to throw in the towel where things would never change. God would remind me to just take it one step at a time, step by step, day by day. And it's one of those things where you hear, okay, yes, take it one step at a time, but you don't really do it. But when you do do it, you just take it as one task before you, little by little, step by step, you do find yourself on the other side. You do find that you come out of the situation. But then God reminded me of something else, which is what I want us to focus on today, what I want us to look at today. And he reminded me that when you get anxious, when you get worried, when you start thinking about all the bazillion things you have to do, all the tasks before you, you start getting overwhelmed, you start fretting, when you start thinking about how am I going to do this all? How is this all going to change? You're losing sleep at night because you're trying to figure out ways in order to make this thing happen. Everything feels like it's sort of pressing down and pressing in on you and you just don't see your way out. God reminded me that with every single one of those worries, we are to take those worries and turn them into prayers. Instead of worrying, how am I gonna get healthy? How am I gonna find a job? How is the situation gonna work out? No, we turn that into prayer and we pray, Lord, you are the Lord, my God, my healer. You are Jehovah Rapha, the my healer, Yahweh Rapha. God, I pray that you would heal me, God. It is your will that I prosper and be in health even as my soul prospers. God, I need a job. May you please bless me and open up a door that no man can shut, God. May you please give me favor. God, you say that you give me the victory in Christ Jesus, so will you work this situation out that I am victorious, that you give me the victory. Every time the enemy sends some sort of worry your way about some situation you face, some difficulty, some person, some event, something with a family member or a friend, something at your church, every time the enemy sends worry your way in some sort of form or fashion, whenever he sends them your way, you take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn that thing around for good. You some. People call it taking your worry list and turning it into your prayer list. You take those worries, you turn them into prayers, and you get the good from it. As our verse notes, we read that we are not to be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving to present our request to God. It tells us point blank, do not be anxious, pray instead. And when we do that, it comes with a promise and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. That prayer becomes a guard. It guards our hearts and our feelings. It guards us from anxiety. It protects us from the evil one, trying to continually send that worry and that anxiety our way. It stands, it acts as a guard over us. My dear friend, take every single one of those worries and turn them into specific prayers praying God's word, asking for his help, standing on what he says in the word about that particular situation. It's like when we pray, we exchange our worry. We give him our worry and we get back his peace. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, that you promised, God, that if we just take our anxiety, we take our worry and we turn that over to you in prayer and petition with thanksgiving, we thank you, God, that we get your peace, God. We can exchange our worry, God, for your peace, God. We pray about every situation we face, God. I pray for my brothers and my, and my sisters, Lord, who are going through just trying situations where they are up at night thinking about it, where they are worried about what's coming in the mail, or they are worried about the situation that they face, something in their health, in a relationship, on their job, in their church, in a situation. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you would just give them peace, God. 
remind them to come to you, remind them to pray to you, remind them, God, that you are right there, ready and willing to be right with them, God, to help them in this situation. Help them remember, God, to turn those worries into prayers, God, that they may receive your peace, God, and that you may get to work on that situation, God. You know exactly what they need, God, even before they ask, God, but you do want us to come and to ask, God, so that we may receive, God, and that our joy may be complete. We love you, Lord, and we thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like and comment on this video. I would appreciate it and I would love to have you guys. Guys, have a great day. God loves you very, very much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time and God bless you.